How's it going, everyone? Sinister of the Gamer section bringing you another review. And today's game I'm going to cover is The Last Cube for the Xbox. It's also available on the PlayStation 4, the Switch, and the PC. As the plot goes, you're a cube and the last one of your kind that explores six unique cubic worlds and solve brain teas and puzzles to put the cube world back together. When it comes to the visuals, it has like a last gen look to it which is not bad but not very great either. Even though there are different environments which look good in some areas better than others. The music on the other hand has a techno feel to it which fits the game nicely. The tutorials come in handy while instead of hitting the pause button to look them up. The lowers menu display everything from sticker abilities to the different cube areas. Since this is a puzzle game, the premise is to get your cube from point A to point B. There are obstacles to overcome and you have to plan carefully. The controls are simple when moving your cube around in different directions. The camera is also involved too where you can rotate it to see all around you. There are different colored stickers that have different effects like blue for example is good for rotating and yellow which is good for dashing to get through obstacles. There are relics hidden all throughout the world which you can let they have revealed the lures of the laurel. In times if you get stuck, there are hints out there once you get your sticker ability and get near a glowing tile, it lets you, the, lets you know the direction to land it on. The game is geared towards fans of puzzlers and I don't see casuals enjoying this. Also some areas are too dark and have to adjust the brightness to see what you're doing. The camera can sometimes be your greatest enemy when it comes to solving puzzles. Finally, the cutscenes look grainy for some reason, which is not a good thing. I don't know if that's the look that they're going for, but other than that, it's just not a good look. I give The Last Cube a 2 out of 5. For the latest news and review, be sure to hit subscribe and follow us at the Gamer section.